Hi, my name is Amber Hurley, and I'm here again with Jay Whitaker from Organic Money. How you doing today, Jay? Good, Amber. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Okay. So, just to do a recap of last week, um, has anything changed? Any have we had any major changes since our last conversation? Uh, the price of gold has increased. Um, it's almost at seventeen hundred again. Okay. For a seven year high, uh, Bitcoin has increased. It's now around seven thousand. Uh, for Bitcoin and also stimulus checks to this some people have got to send stimulus checks already Yes, people and have been receiving. the United States is the leader in deaths uh, as far as this coronavirus pandemic is concerned too so that was some big uh, that was the biggest events that happened since last week wow okay so as far as um, the deaths the death rate mm -hmm. when you say we're the leader is that yeah, mortality rate, as far as how many people actually died from the coronavirus, we now uh, are number one in the world as far as fatalities, as far as deaths are concerned, uh, due to the coronavirus. Right. Okay. So, have, also, have you heard about the the African-American mark as yeah. far as... Yeah, the disproportionate amount of African-Americans dying. Yes. Yeah, and uh, it's, it, I kind of can believe it because one in four Americans, uh, they can't seek... Um, benefits so they, they refuse to go to the hospital due to uh, money issues so especially in our community like we don't really trust the hospitals and stuff like that so i can see how a lot of us are sick and you know or we have uh, issues concerning our body and you know healthcare is expensive too you know so a lot, a lot of people have issues that they, they have that's unresolved and you know with this type of cold man it's uh it's very it's very deadly because once that mucus uh, hardens up that's that's where that's where the problems come in at because then you can't really breathe, and that's causing a lot of a lot of people to uh, die. But as far as us, like that's why we gotta pay more attention to what we eat. Like I said, I'm, I'm vegan. You know, I've been vegan for five years, and what we put in our body also it can help fight off different type of diseases. Gotcha. And if you know not eating meat, it helps your body because when you eat meat, it stays in your body for three or four days. When you eat vegetables, it's only two to four hours. Oh, okay. When you eat fruit, only up to an hour. Right. You know, so your body is, uh, it just off those two things alone, it just tells you what you should put in your body. Right. You I know mean, what I mean? Because fruit, so. fruit and vegetables, it digest fast in your body. Yeah. And the majority yeah, of your immune system is yeah. in your stomach. 70% of your immune system is in your stomach. Wow. I didn't know yeah. that. 70% of your immune system is in your stomach, your lower intestines. So if you keep your gut clear, you know, that's why they just come out with that vinegar stuff, clearing your gut and stuff mm -hmm. like that. If you keep your gut clear, it, it gives you a, a more healthy uh, state, your body mm -hmm. to be in, you know, to fight all these different type of uh, viruses and stuff like that. So you say you've been vegan for five years. Yeah. And what was the most difficult transition from eating meat to going vegan? Yeah, I had to, I had to really read. I had a uh, shout out to Dr. Sabi, you know, he, he really, yeah, he really um, helped, helped change my life on that. Um, I, I did his practices in the beginning as far as he had a list of foods you eat and my hardest thing was just chicken It was, okay, you know, it was chicken. chicken and steak. I was, I was yes. a big chicken and steak man But once I read and understood why you shouldn't eat meat and the way I felt It was no burning. So The FDA admitted that 70% of the chicken we eat have uh, Cancer causing elements in it and that's due to these chickens being Housed in these large faculty farms. I've seen it. I've seen it on yeah. TV. Yeah, and some of them be sick, right? Mm -hmm. So what they had to do is give some of them uh, medication. But instead of giving them some that's sick, they give it all of them because there's too many of them to find out if mm -hmm. they're sick or not. So all of them get this get this uh, antibiotic, and this cancer causes them to us. So us eating chicken, that's why it, that helped me out as far as not eating chicken. You know what I mean? Once that was a no-brainer. You know, even with meat having it in your system for the three to four days, I'm like, wow, you just. Cause it's dead, you know what I'm saying. Even what's going on with this pandemic, man, the stores are selling out of food. But guess what? I know the live food section where you, majority of the shopping should be done at, which is produce, Stacked, is booming. Yeah. Stacked, yeah. I got stuff all in. All produce of every, any store you are gonna see the produce looking the best of these empty shelves, you know, as far as the meat and everything else is concerned. But that's what we need to do. Majority about shopping at, you know, health is wealth. So even if you do cash out from the society mm -hmm. and just in these investments. You have to sustain your your wealth, you know, because health is wealth, like Dr. Savi says. You know what I mean? So that's that's part of wealth building too. Absolutely. So Jay, what's the flip side of the stimulus checks? So 
it's an influx of money. You know what I mean? So you got more money in circulation now, which is going to cause hyperinflation and inflation to happen. Okay. That's why with this with stimulus check, it's a great opportunity for us. We're in the midst of a wealth transfer. This is the best opportunity to sustain wealth. Okay. That's what our people need to understand. Like, even though it's a our storm, essays. in the midst of the storm, is always a silver lining. It's, it's, it really is a silver lining in this storm. You know, and that's gold and silver. And the way, and what the stimulus check they should do is like building a house. You should get your foundation right first. The mm -hmm. foundation is gold and silver. Physical gold and silver is the foundation of the house. That's how we got to build. That's what we got to build off first. Then if, uh, I think cryptocurrency is going to be huge. So use some of that to buy a, a, some cryptocurrency. Put more majority of it in silver and buy some in cryptocurrency. Okay. And then if you want to do the stocks and things too, that's also another uh, 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 a, de a vehicle you can use okay. you know, to purchase. So that's more of the action plan. So you say yeah. gold and silver. Yeah, gold and silver. Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. And then if you want to, you can invest in some stocks. Invest in stocks. And I would say the stocks that, that, that are used for life essentials. You know what I mean? Uh, the food industry, you know, uh, oil. Right. You know, stuff that you know is going to be used um, in the years to come. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as far as, okay, we have to really dive more into this stimulus mm -hmm. because, um, the people, I don't really feel like they're aware mm -hmm. of what they should be doing with it. I mean, you yeah. just told us yeah. exactly what to do with it, yeah. but I don't think they understand the severity of like the government giving you free money. I think yeah. they're looking at it like it's not going to, it's not going to, it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a long downturn in the economy. I, everybody thinks it's just going to uh, hit the switch this summer and just turn back on. I don't. I don't foresee that. No, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of problems with the economy, and it's, it's going to take a long time to heal. And I'm saying this because they're putting too much cash in circulation. I can't right. stress that enough. It's going to cause hyperinflation. The more cash in circulation, the less it's worth. Mm -hmm. So with this money, it gives us opportunity. We have to capitalize on this opportunity. If we don't, it could be. Uh, Life changing for the worst, as far as I was concerned. Mm. But like I said, it, it, in the future, you're either going to be rich or you're going to be poor. Yeah, no, right now, it's a great opportunity for us to sustain hard assets.